Welcome back YouTube to the Reef and Recon channel. In this week's video, we'll be making a compact culture system DIY style. You know, I got a pair of clownfish that lay eggs about every 14 days and I've been trying to breed them. So I've been watching YouTube videos by Luis Perez on how to do it. And on one of his videos, he had this compact culture system. So I decided to make a DIY version for myself. And I'd like to welcome everybody. And if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. You see how I did it. Okay, here are the pieces I assembled to make this project. A T fitting, one inch, one inch coupling. This black mesh. A one inch pipe for the horizontal and a piece for the vertical. And to hold it up against the side of the bucket, I got this, um, closet pole holders. Now just attach them to the side. Okay, here it is. Not too bad. And I also attached a little one inch piece on the bottom so I could connect it to this black mesh. Now all I have to do is figure out how to make this stay in the round shape. And then I'll connect it to the pipe. See what I come up with. Wish me luck. Okay, that's what I got. I used some glue and some zip ties to make the round form. I gotta cut off those tail pieces, but not too bad. Here it is the next step. I put some filter floss around the uh, black mesh and I hold it together with some zip ties and a rubber band, as you can see. And on top, I drilled a hole so I could pass the airline tubing. So it'll sit in a bucket like this. Pretty easy. Do it one hand as you can see. Should be using my tripod, but. So now I'll put the airline tubing through the hole. If you had um, rigid airline tubing, you would put that through the hole. And at the other end, you have the option of leaving it open or putting a air stone on it. But I don't have rigid tubing, so. It is all connected. And you can see I got some salt water mixing already. Four gallons is what they recommend. At the salinity of 1.020. So the next thing I have to do is acclimate the rotifers to the water temperature and combine. Here are my rotifers that I got online. You would think I live in South Florida, this would be easy to find in all the local fish stores, but it's not. Only a few carry it. So I'll put it in here, let it acclimate to the temperature, then move it all down to the bottom bucket. And then I'll feed it RG complete. So let's do that. Okay, here it is. I got the water with the rotifers. I got my air pump on, the water circulating. So now all I have to do is feed it some RG complete, which is this. And they recommend that you feed 11 mLs daily and split the feeding into two, an AM and a PM. So five and a half mLs in the morning, five and a half mLs at night. And I also got this online. So let's feed them. Okay, here I have five and a half mLs of RG Complete, which I'm gonna add to the water. I recommend you add 11 mLs daily and break it up into two feedings, one in the morning, one at night. And you'll do this for the first three days to give you a chance for your culture to reproduce so you have enough to take out to feed for your corals or your fish. So on the fourth day, you take out 20% and replace it with 20% of fresh, clean salt water. Pretty simple, easy. You keep doing that just to keep your culture alive and reproducing. So I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you guys next time on the Reef and Recon channel. Thanks for watching.